Greetings in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're speaking about why Christians celebrate Resurrection Day. In the Holy Bible, in the book of Luke, chapter 24, verses 1 through 12, 44 through 53, it reads, And upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabouts, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth and they said unto them why seek ye the living among the dead he is not here but is risen remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful man and be crucified and the third day rise again and they remembered his words. And they returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idols' tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran into the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departing, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Verse 44. And he, Jesus said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the Law of Moses and at the Prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the Scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. The enemy of God's creation, Satan the devil, Lucifer, because of the fear of the unknown death, God's people might fear death. The Lord Jesus Christ died, and holy righteous man died for all and rose from the dead for all to see, proving that God's holy word is true. Christians do not have to fear death. All of the Bible is true. God's promise of life after death, God's promise of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God's given utterance. God's promise of heaven for his children. God's promise of the rapture of his church to escape the tribulation period. God's promise of a righteous, contented, and first priority, spirit-filled, abundant life is true. Because our God rose from the dead. We too, his children, shall rise from the dead. And if we remain faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ, we will have an abundant life on earth and forever with him in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.